Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I'm calling it, Order My Steps, Lord. Order My Steps, Lord. I'm going to read Proverbs 16, verse 9. Proverbs 16, verse 9, NIV. And it says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establish their steps. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord established their steps. Order my step, Lord. Sometimes whenever you talk to people and you listen to um people, especially uh, someone like younger people, it's kind of um, interesting when you talk, hear them talk about all the things that they're going to, to do and how all this is going to happen. You know, I'm going to, uh, when I graduate from high school, I'm gonna go to um, gonna go to college. I'm gonna go to the military or whatever, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna um get married. I'm going uh, or I'm gonna get me a job, get married, or you know they have all this stuff you know planned out. You know it's like the perfect um plan. Or you have somebody that say you know what, you know we're in love. We've been dating three years. We're gonna get married, and it's gonna be everything. It's gonna be flowers and roses, and it's gonna be just a fairy tale and they get married and like okay i wasn't expecting this i wasn't expecting that i wasn't expecting oh i didn't know i was going to to get two jobs to help support the family i didn't know that you know we got married and now we having um a baby i didn't know this was going to be extra or this going to cost more or you know just also let's say someone has a baby i didn't know that a baby's going to be with me all the time you know <laughs> you know i'm just making up but you know it's like okay you 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 know the baby's going to be with you all the time but you don't realize like like how much work it is like okay this is you know this is my baby this baby's dependent on me or on us and like so or we're married now we're a couple and you know we we said that we love each other. We're going to make this work. So we got to get two jobs. We may have to see each other. We, you got to work night shift. I got to work day shift. And, you know, now the, the job want me to move. And we just had a baby. And you're like, wait a minute. All this stuff that just, you know, that you had a plan. But stuff that you weren't planning happened. You know, you you know, you know, hear people say, you know, I had a plan. I was going to go. I was going to go um, pro. I heard people all the time with the story. They was going pro in some certain sport. And they got hurt. And it changed everything. Or some, I heard some female say, you know, I was going to do this and that. And then I ended up, I got pregnant. And it changed the course of my life. And so I was going to go here and there. But now I got to go this way or go that way. So with this, all I'm saying is that with this verse here, in their hearts, humans plan their course. We can plan it. We can plan it and plan it plan it. But the Lord established their steps. And so... I teach my children to say, um, Lord, no, order my steps, order my, order, order my steps, you know, to be in grief. I want them to know that we can have plans, but many times our plans just don't, they just don't work out how we think they should work out. You know, I didn't see, you know, people say they're going to, when they, they get out of school, they're going to make so much money. They're going to do this. They're going to be millionaires, this and this and that. And they got to school, you can't even find a job. You know, you know, it's like, what? Or they found one, but it's not paying what they thought it was going to pay. You mean, tell me, you want to pay me this? I can go work there and make this, you know. So, with um with that, so, you should always, you know, like, that's not, like, how can I say? You should always know. You should always know that even though you plan something, that God's going to order your steps. And you should always be asking God how to order your steps because, you don't know what lies out in front of you, what's happening, what's coming, but God does. And so ask him to order yourself. Like the thing is like to get into the habit of acknowledging him. And so that's why like I always tell people, you know, to acknowledge acknowledge God. And you have young people in their life, it's not too, you know, too early or too late to tell them. So ask him God to order your steps. You know, you they may supposed to be going here this day and then, you know, something's about to happen over there and the Lord ordered steps to over over here, you know, and some people say, well, you know, I don't even have to do that because I don't, I, I mean, I'm going, you know, be be mean and whatever happened, whatever it is. I would say, you know, just for me and my walk, talking to God and uh, some people say, well, you don't have to say that every day. You don't have to say that. Well, maybe you don't, but I'm telling you, I like to acknowledge God. I like to talk to him. I like to include him. And it just seems in my life to do work, be working great. And like just to see how God manifests like himself 
like just constantly all the time and you know some stuff like okay i just lord i was expecting this i you know i wasn't expecting this but then here you go here you go doing this you know wow you know and it's just like just to see god god do what he he does you know but with that i'm always asking god you know to order my steps i trust you you know whatever just sometimes i say it's like at times i'm like okay i just don't know you know what the, what what are we going to eat what are we going to do what should we just do today you know how you just have like nothing this plan and saying like okay lord just order just let me go with the go with the flow let me just go with the flow whatever you got or got us to lead us to to do that is you know awesome just trusting you and so with that like i know some days that we have to do certain things we have to give and go here and there but no but i um our steps can um our steps can be ordered by um, God, and it is just awesome to see how, when you look back over life, how this could have happened or should have happened, but because you were redirected somehow, it didn't happen. Then again, you said, "Well, no, this did happen. You know, why didn't why 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 didn't you know, you know why why did this happen? I didn't want this to happen. You know, I'm not God, so I can't answer all that, but I do know that God would order our steps and and like I said, when we can make all the the like I said the plans in the in the world. And things come up, things happen, good things, bad things, fun, fun things, sad things. So just know that the Lord in order, um, He can order your steps. And I was just saying, I was talking to God and asking him to order his steps. And like I said, teach others, tell them to ask God to order your steps. They be having any crises, and, you know, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, what I should do, or which job I should take. You said, tell them pray about it and ask God to order your steps. You know, tell them to open whatever door they be open, shut that what needs to be shut. Put it in His hand. Trust Him totally. That's what this is all about. Just your journey should be just trusting God totally, just a hundred percent and asking him to guide you in everything. Nothing's too big, nothing's too small. And a lot of us like to wait to big things or bad things or things that we think that's important. I mean God cares about every you know saying everything in our life. You know, you know, uh what is the, the verse in the Bible that says that he has the um the um our hair the, the strands of our hair number, you know? You know, there has to be some love and some care in there, you know. So with that, you just think about things like that. And somebody said, well, that's not even important. The strands of the hair, hair. But that just tell you how God is. He just is. He's detailed. He's detailed. And he, and he likes small details. And so, and he likes large details. So, just put him everywhere. In everything. In all your all your business. Just let's like say, God, come in and just take control. Just take just take over. You know, if I don't supposed to be there, order me somewhere else. That, you know, whatever to use, what. You know, whatever God, however you do it, because I mean, we don't know everything to God because then what God does or what He does do, because then we'll be God. But but I do know that I trust Him a hundred percent. So God, order my steps. So I'm gonna pray. Father, I come to you, standing on Proverbs sixteen verse nine. In your word it says, "In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord established their steps." Father. I thank you for establishing my steps. You're an awesome God. You're a wonderful God. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say that enough. I love you in Jesus' name and pray. Amen. And so I so said just ask God and send to order order your steps. Order your steps. If you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repenting of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is just continue to grow it. Read your Bible, pray, 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 walk in obedience, and just be the brightest light you can be. And just let just let your friends, your family, people around you just be wild about what God is doing in your life. And that way that you can point them. You know, don't you know you have so many people I can say, so many people that say, you know, I you know, I I I, I love God and they, they 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 everything they say is about God, but I mean, not necessarily everything they say, but they say a lot of things about God, but then the actions don't add up, you know, to it. And so people are close around, they notice this stuff, they're like they don't even believe, or she don't even believe, he don't even believe. But you know what? If you believe, let your actions go with it. And then let the things that God do in your life, you know, let, let it, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody else see and say, you know what? I want that guy. You know, you're doing this person like you're doing them in mind. You know, what do I need to do? And how do I, you know, continue to grow and have, what you know, a walk like this person is continue to, you know, seek after, you know, be the bright light that I can be or to be the person you designed me to be. So, like I said, just, just continue to, to grow in this journey. Read your Bible. Pray. 
praise, worship, fast, and whatever you do. And remember, obedience is key. I'm Dr. Lee, and thank you for watching. Let go, let God, and keep it moving.